Joker, you'd never know it was a DC movie. Though there are characters with the last name Wayne, and it takes place in a city called Gotham, there's little else that distinguishes Todd Phillips' latest film as a comic book movie. It's a solid, well-made film that, ultimately, has a bit of an identity crisis. Joker isn't quite sure what it wants to be. What it definitely is, is a movie about a disturbed man named Arthur Fleck, played by Joaquin Phoenix. Arthur is a clown for hire who lives with his mother Penny, American Horror Stories Francis Conroy, in a powder keg of a city that's just waiting to explode. And, without really even realizing the impact his actions are having on the outside world, Arthur ends up lighting the fuse. Joker is a comic book origin story with very little comic book in it. The whole thing very purposefully feels like a love letter to cinema of the late back quote 70s, early back quote 80s, rather than other dark DC superhero movies like Tim Burton's Batman or Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. Using that gritty aesthetic, Phillips is much more interested in dissecting what makes a comic book character real than making a real comic book character, and, in that aim, he's successful. Arthur is a fascinating and endlessly compelling person. He's also terrifying and, for most of the film, sympathetic. In fact, that sympathy is where much of the film's fear comes from. This is the Joker. We should not like this person. And yet, the movie tricks us into doing that time and time again. We frequently see things happening that aren't actually happening. Information is given that isn't quite accurate. Arthur's point of view is mostly unreliable. And so the film swings you between sympathy and pity or humor and awkwardness, sometimes in a single shot. Not knowing what to believe and how to feel is one of the film's most interesting and strongest assets.